Hello, my beautiful fucking babies. This is Papa Cousins here with a topic that I haven't actually seen much on, and that is pertaining to the Fallout series and people who are transgender. And yes, I do realize that there has been some characters that have touched on this indirectly, but most of those have been robots and not actually transgender humans. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, this SJW piece of shit is wanting to ruin my Fallout games by putting a mentally ill person in them. All SJW should take a helicopter ride. I bet he's never even played a Fallout game in his life. So, first things first is my quote-unquote qualifications. And they are that I have played only about 20 minutes of Fallout 1. Zero minutes of Fallout 2. I've been Fallout 3 about four times. Been Fallout New Vegas too many times we've a fucking count at this point. But I'm gonna estimate around 15 times at least. And I've been Fallout 4 about two times. And that's while being almost every single quest within Fallout 3 and New Vegas. In each single playthrough. Now, I would attempt this with Fallout 4, but it bores me to the point where I can't. Another thing I'd like to point out is, yes, I am indeed feminine, although I am male. I will often cost dress and wear girly clothing. Well, the final thing is I am indeed a leftist, I am a feminist, I am everything that you're going to be against. And I would probably identify myself as a libertarian socialist, which if you would like to call that an oxymoron, I'd like to refer to you to this video by Libertarian Socialist Rants titled Libertarian Socialism is not an oxymoron. Although that's changed somewhat, so I'm not entirely sure what I am. However, what I'm about to discuss is something that I'm not trying to pass a lot of mandate. Rather, it is something that I'm just wanting to make a video on with me explaining something I would like to see and I'm going to explain some viewpoints as to why I would love to see a transgender character or at least a character who doesn't go by some sort of gender binary in the next Fallout game. My first point is that it would include a group of people who are excluded from a lot of forms of storytelling as it would probably get the specific group of people who don't have any interest in the Fallout games because they don't have a character they themselves can relate to specifically on that basis and it may get the margin inside the group of people who don't play video games hardly if any at all to play that game it would get more gamers in general giving them and other companies more revenue and more fans. My second point is that there has already been gay characters in Fallout such as Major Knight in Fallout New Vegas which was implied by him, Arcade Ganon in New Vegas, and every fucking companion in Fallout 4, as well as the fact that you can cross-dress in Fallout 4. A third point is that I believe this could be a great and wonderful thing for the story, as I believe this would provide an interesting plotline. Like maybe there's a quest centered around it in which you go find a person who is transgender, a doctor who can do a gender reassignment surgery, or maybe a kid who has been rejected by their family for being trans, so they just Decided to join the Rangers, for instance, as they would be the first group who didn't reject them on that basis, in which you would learn all about them and what it's like to be a trans individual in a post-apocalyptic society. My final point for that video is that Bethesda needs to take more risks in their next Fallout game. Now, I'm not talking about what they did in Fallout 4 being that they fucked up big time in many areas. However, instead they need to take risks in terms of story elements, which, of course, the risk can fail. However, it would still be a risk, and some people love when risks are taken with stories. However, I may just be saying this because I have a personal preference whenever risks are taken. Anyways, this is my personal opinion, and I will still buy Fallout games regardless if they do end up putting a transgender character within one of their games or not. I would just personally love to see one within the games. Anyways, if you would like to view all the links for the video that I use in this video, they will be in the description. And I would just like to point out, I don't own any of the rights of the videos used in this. I'm just trying to go by fair use and have these videos in here. I do not own any of them.